Woo -woo -woo. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Team Fortress TV. We are pleased that you're joining us this evening as we're getting ready to bring you Invite TF2 action. It is ESEA Season 21. We are um, we're at the roughly the halfway point. Some teams have their uh, games, uh, you know, kind of up or down or that, but we're uh, we, we've made it to the halfway point. This evening, we're getting ready to bring you Street Hoops Esports versus the Bugs. And uh, this is going to be an exciting match played on CP Granary Pro B10. My name is Getaway. I'm uh, joined, uh, well, let's call out our boy Marvler here first. You're normally joined by MathSad, but we have the equally king-worthy, lord-worthy, uh, royalty Marvler doing production this evening. Give him some love. And to my left is my boy, Truck Truck. And Truck, we're looking. Do you mind if I call you Truck, by the way? <laughs> Forget about that. Uh, I think Kurt's doing something else. It's just me here, guys. It's a solo cast. Uh, but what I wanted to say is that uh, these teams are both in a situation where, you know, their records are not necessarily what they want them to be. They're below 500. Street Hoops Esports coming into this one at 4 and 5. The Bugs at 2 and 7. And certainly both of these teams really looking for that win. Street Hoops, they want to sort of stay in playoff contention. And the Bugs, um, you know, I think they're sort of looking to salvage... The way that their season's been going, with only two wins, they've lost their last three, including one that they just lost recently against uh, Running with Scissors on this very map, CP Granary Pro. Uh, are you with us, Kurt? Guys, Kurt, um, Kurt had an excitement overload uh, for this match, and so we're going to wait for him to come back with us. It is Granary Week. Um, one thing I want to mention is that this match does seem to be a little bit favoring one side. If we look at our stats on Saloon.tf, the bettors on Saloon.tf uh, have decided, about 95% of them in fact, that Street Hoops Esports are, um, you know, favored in this one. Uh, but that's not always, uh, that's not always the way it goes. We've seen this season already several upsets. We've seen a lot of underdog teams take it. And consider, if you will, this Bugs team, they just got finished playing running with scissors on this very map, and so they're kind of warmed up. Street Hoops Esports, they haven't played an official match in a while. Their last scheduled match was against Hands Off, a team that, of course, have folded, and so that was a default win. But before that, the last thing that they played was uh, the last week of February, and so it's been a while. I'm not saying they're not playing, because they obviously play pickup games and whatnot a whole lot, but, uh, you know, there's a difference between pickup games and scrims, and actual games. Uh, hello. So, oh, Sorry hello about that, Mike. There, boy. I got back. Whew. You were so. Um, Kurt was just so excited. We had to calm him down. I said, "Listen, Kurt, you gotta chill out. I want you to go and run a few laps around your street just to kind of get the energy out." Yeah, and that's exactly what I just did. So I'm feeling Whew. feeling a little exhausted. Ready to go. So here's the here's the bullet points I just went through. Both teams under 500. Both of them want to kind of turn stuff around, but the Bugs, uh, perhaps, uh, they, they might be a little more warmed up because they just played the game that we watched, Running With Scissors. You and I did it, not here on stream, but we did it privately ourselves because yeah. we like to practice. Um, so they just play this map. Street Hoops haven't played in a while, and I was making that point. Their last scheduled match was a default win over Hands Off, and before that, they haven't played since the 23rd or 24th. Um, is that a thing? The last thing I said right before you came in from your run was that, um, you know, scrims and pugs are a lot different than playing actual official matches, right? Yeah, of course. Obviously, uh, pickup games help you help keep you fresh as far as your death matching ability goes. But as far as teamwork and coordination, especially, and beyond that, playing against high-level team scrims is where it's at, and obviously matches are as well. So that's what really counts. And for street hoops, even though they're, they're, they aren't like the most active puggers during the days, they do play a lot at night from what I know, and um, they're looking to make playoffs. They're, they've made some adjustments adjustments to their squad, and they're looking to make playoffs. They're four and five right now. They're just outside the bubble uh, for making the playoffs this season. So they really, really, really want to win this match. Uh, and I yeah. think I think they are going to, but beyond that, uh, yeah, like we mentioned, the Bugs, they played running with scissors last week, and they did struggle against that squad. 
But mm-hmm. we did watch that game, and uh, Running with Scissors actually looked very strong on each mid, and uh, the bugs didn't. But if the bugs did watch the demos, uh, maybe they'll take a take a, a page out of the Running with Scissors handbook, and uh, maybe they'll they'll see some spicy plays from the Roamer, as we saw from Rakuso uh, during that match. Yeah, well, we were saying that the, the important things on this Granary map, at least to us, I mean, it's sad that you could say it really of any map, but, you know, we're going to be looking to see how the mids shake down because Granary is a map where, as we mentioned, when we did our little practice cast, Running with Scissors had really dominant mids and they just kind of, they were always able to roll them through to a push on to last. And, you know, it's important how last breaks down because this is a little different. This is different from anybody who's playing, you know, pubs and uh, just, you know, public service servers with granary um the last is very different the point is moved up there's well one big difference is like the rocket rooms we were talking about how it's real quick for off classers to just come into these first shutter doors and you can actually change class right in this room you can't yeah. do that on the old granary defending last becomes a, a little bit easier because of that because you can yep. just have a sniper in that for in that spawn area just sniping out of there and if you miss a shot bam press your bind to switch to scout or whatever class that you're supposed to be playing and you're back in the action same goes for engineer if your sentry goes down early you don't have to make a long trek back Run to spawn back, yeah. so yeah for sure but from what we saw the mid fights are generally very very quick on granary uh, there's usually a lot of carnage as well. Uh, yeah, it, either either one team rolls through or one team retreats almost immediately. Uh, yeah. I think this is uh, I think this is gonna be a match where a team's probably gonna retreat more quick. I think I think 20v is a little bit more of experience of a team to know if they go down quick, they're not gonna commit to a fight that they're not gonna win on a mid like this. Because if you commit on Granary. You should be winning the mid, because if you don't, you're going to lose everyone, because it's very, very, very hard to get out of this mid area once you commit to a fight. Absolutely, and it kind of lends itself a little more than some other maps to some of these stalemate situations, mostly around when it comes to pushing in or out of mid, is what we've kind of seen over the years. Uh, You know, nothing's different there. Um, typically, I mean, I'm not expecting that we'll be sitting here for a half hour with no rounds going down, but we'll have some time for teams to kind of slow down and kind of plan and play for picks and whatnot, um, more than likely. I mean, maybe we won't. Maybe they'll just go bonkers out of the gate, but, uh, you know, the games tend to slow down a little bit a few times here and there, and, I mean, does that... Does that favor the the more experienced team, or am I, I think making I'll, that up? 100% it does. Uh... Slower games definitely favor the more experienced teams because they have more patience and they know what to do in more slower scenarios. Uh, I think 20B, I think this overall game favors 20B, but I think the map actually favors the lesser teams because on a map like Granary, if you catch the other team out and you're rolling mids, you can take that mid win and put it all the way into a last push with an over advantage. So you gotta you gotta tiptoe around if you're uh if you're 20b you don't want to overcommit on these fights and get rolled by a team that i i believe they should beat yeah i mean that's that's true and i mean i mentioned off the top that the odds are very slanted in favor on saloon of street hoops but you know you got to remember at the same time that the bugs are an invite team and i mean We've seen so many good things. We've cast a lot of their games, actually, this season so far, Kurt. And, you know, the players on the bugs, I mean, Digi and Moo and Newspeak, Goldfish, obviously, Mousy, they're all very talented. And so it might be easy from the way we're talking to think, well, you know, the bugs don't have a chance. But this is still an invite team. And so, like you said, if they're able to roll over a couple mids, they're very capable of pushing in last. Um, we'll have to see how it plays out. The one wild um, card is is uh, Cole on Medic. I actually just discovered a second wild card in this game because I Blank. noticed that Blank was in the server. I'm yeah. like, when did this happen? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know he was on 20B. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Seems like he's playing for hitch, Carter. On the roster history for Street Hoops, he just joined today, March 7th. So he's on the squad. So is he? Hmm. Is he Roman? I'm assuming that because I'm yeah. seeing Shellstopper, who's been playing Pocket. You know, uh, Ash was back playing Roamer recently, uh, the, the last time we saw Street Hoops at any rate. 
And so, yeah, Blank. Now, if you're wondering who Blank is, oh, you know, he, he had the third highest DPS in, uh, or sorry, DPM, I should say. I don't know why it's still the DPS same thing. Though. DPS same thing. and DPM, DP. you know? Yes, yeah, Just... yeah. But, it, but he was having a hell of a season before his team hands off, unfortunately, folded. And yeah, so was... that's a thing. Blank is definitely one of the brightest spots of the hands-off squad as far as statistics go. Um, it's good to he's see that it. he's still playing an invite, even though his team did kind of fall apart mid-season. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if Ash is done or if <laughs> Ash is no taking info. a week off. We, this literally <laughs> yeah. happened today. I don't know what time today, Nobody but told I had us anything. no idea. Like Usually, I'm in the know. I, I prod my nose in. Uh, get, yeah. get all the information I can get before these casts, but th this is surprising. I'm very excited to see You're a Blank, especially especially on Roamer. If he's playing Roamer, I don't think I've ever seen Blank play Roamer before. Like, not even mm. like pickup games. Yeah, we don't know anything about this. Typically, you know, if you guys cover follow the coverage on TeamFortress.tv, we've had a lot of articles this season when there have been roster changes and whatnot, just sort of talking about it, getting quotes from the teams and whatnot, but... uh uh, we're caught off guard by this, I guess. But yeah. um, I was I wanted to mention as well Cole because uh, on the topic of the bugs, they unfortunately lost their medic bopper earlier in the season just because of scheduling issues. And so Cole has been filling in. He's not a career medic. Um, but he is a bud. You know, it it means a lot. Like he, everybody on the the bugs are buds. And if they plan on growing as a team, it's I think it's important to pick up a player that gets along with the team, and Cole fits that spot perfectly. I don't know about playing Medic necessarily, but Cole, Cole's a, a very dynamic gamer, uh, to say the least. So I think he can adapt. Uh, he does have one game under his belt. He, we, we did watch that game. He played he played it all right. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to see a little bit more uh, passive play, especially on a map like this uh, from Cole. That's that's what I want to see out of him, Mike. How about you? Nothing. All right. Oh, Mike's not even here, so it's just me. Uh, yeah. So we do have eleven players in the server currently. So we're waiting on one more one more player. But to go back on this matchup, like I was saying, I think the bugs are at a severe disadvantage. But once again, it is Granary if. If they play aggressive on these mids and they win with their aggression and roll through the 20B squad, they do have a chance at winning this game for sure. Uh, Mike has messaged me on Steam, so one second. We're trying to get him back in Mumble. Oh, you're back? Hello? Okay, yes. you're back. All right. Sorry about that. Your internet died for a second there? Absolutely, yes. Nice. Cole. But Cole yeah, I was, I, was saying, uh, I was saying, Mike, that... The bugs do have a disadvantage on this map. I don't think their squad matches up very nicely for. Uh... God, I'm getting steam messages. So let me side. go offline. That's okay. Uh, against the twenty. Uh, against the twenty B squad. squad, I don't think they match up that great. But yeah, the bugs well... can roll these mids. If they roll these mids and they keep the game at like a high tempo, I think they can put some rounds on the board and potentially even win the game. I don't think it's I don't think I don't think they're ruled out completely, especially on a map like this, Mike. Well, I mean, how about we look at both of the roster changes then because Cole is still, let's be honest, trying to get accustomed to playing medic and invite. It's his first season ever in invite. He's a great player. We love him. He's our boy. But uh Hello? Yeah, you're here. Yeah. You're mid sentence. I think Mike is internet is dying once again. That's fine. Um, getting some solo pregame experience under my belt here. Well, yeah, I I do believe Cole will be fine. I was saying earlier that Cole is a bud of the squad, uh, of the bug squad, if you will. He uh, he he gets along with the team. Like it's not like it's just like, hey guys, I'm new. I'm the new guy. Like. They have to show him the ropes. The ropes. He he knows what's up. Uh, even though he doesn't play medic that much, I'm sure he can adapt. He just needs to play more with his team. And I I I really hope the bugs did watch the demo of their match during uh, against running with scissors because running with scissors had these very slow methodical mids, which is very uncommon on Granary, and it worked so well against the bugs aggressive 
uh, play style on each mid. They just balled up. The the running with Suicide Squad just balled up and just picked the bugs off one by one. So maybe if if they adapt that to their play style, they can um they can conquer these mids because they they definitely had a lot of trouble last week on their mids. And beyond that, they also had a lot of trouble with the enemy team's roamer. Rakuso. I know Rakuso is an incredibly dynamic player. He switched to spy and sniper a lot, but he also made some crazy soldier plays and some interesting hiding spots, uh, which there are actually many on this uh, rectangle map that we call Granary, uh, and they really wouldn't, weren't able to deal with them. So we are going live. So let's see what we got here on this first mid. I'm going to be watching actually Mousy. Because if they're going to want to win these mids, they're going to need Mousy pumping out that massive damage here. So we got a couple resets here. And the match is live. So no team is running the crit screen or anything crazy as Mousy does the standard granary rollout. He's going to his choke. He's looking across. It looks like Dewana is also going to his choke, but D Mousy is actually pushing the left side very aggressively, getting some great damage onto Alec. I'm going to be going, zooming out here, seeing how they position themselves. No one is being aggressive just yet. Excuse me, Digi jumping in, doing a ton of damage, gets taken down by Alec. Goldfish follows up his damage and gets a nice kill, but Sizer takes him down before any more damage was dealt. Moo is also going in, trying to get on top of Kozen. She needs to get this frag. She does get the frag. But again, Cole is in deep. Cole needs to get out. They were playing just way too aggressive. If Cole was able to get out there, they could have been able to retake that mid with their Uber. But instead, both medics go down and the mid goes to 20B. So again, good, great aggression coming from the bugs. But again, they are, they are just keeping their medic in too long after they pick the 20B Medic. Uh, I say again, because that's what happened the last match that we casted, or we watched. Um, so, yeah, they're playing aggressive. They, wa they want this, but 20B is in a really good position to get some yard control as Sizer is up there. Uh, it looks like we have Newspeak on Sniper. Where is he at? Oh, great. So it's a solo cast and my game just crashed. So there's not even a radio cast. Hopefully Marbler can carry the broadcast for now. I apologize, guys. My game just shut off. Alright. But it looked like both the, the Ubers were even, but Newspeak was on Sniper. Uh, I'm loading back into the game right now. But uh, it might turn into a little bit of a stalemate since both teams went down, but Newspeak is probably looking to break that stalemate as I am just sending client info. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we're back. Yes. It seems as though the Ubers were exchanged? The Ubers are very low still since I crashed, so I guess the Ubers were exchanged and nothing really happened. Blank is dead, and uh, Newspeak is no longer on Sniper. So time flies when you crash out of the game, I guess. So, Dewatna is up on that up on that uh up on that crate sticking in that choke and the upper battlements and uh both teams are just prodding away at each other with uh a lot of bugs on that right side of yard usually you don't see anybody on that right side but they have two and mouse they had three um yeah it looks like showstoppers trying to get in there they're just ubering right in they're feeling really confident with their uber lucky cole is just milking away just standing here he still hasn't popped goldfish is just walking forward takes down showstopper but that seems like all they're gonna get with this uber are they gonna go overextend i think this is what 20b wants blank is in behind oh blank is in way behind he's taking a 1v1 in lunchbox with moo and moo wins that fight but is that what 20b wants do they want them to come to mid and get caught out here but the bugs are pushing regardless let's see what happens with their player advantage. Newspeak's leading the way, doing some great damage onto Duwatna. Goldfish is following it up, but he's just not dying. Uh, I believe that was Digi that just jumped on top of Kozen and took him down. And somewhere along, <laughs> while that happened, Cole went down too. So again, Cole getting caught out um, in these fights and Mousy is gonna go down super late. This is really not good for the bugs. Uh, losing their demo super late is going to make it very, very hard to defend that second point. And, um, yeah, Kozen's already got that spawn. They might be looking to dry push this last point here. And Cole, 
Blank is up top, getting pretty aggressive here. Uh, keep locking out that upper area so they can't really contest the point. They might actually give it up here, uh, but Dewatna's having none of it, and Alec is leading the charge on that left area. He's going in deep with Sizer. Mousy is still caught up top, and Blank takes him down. That is really not good. Great pick from Blank. They should be able to walk in here with their Uber. They're going in before they get Uber, so they're going to take it slow and steady. Showstopper is pushing the right side with Kozen as Kozen gets his Uber. Kozen does pop. Showstopper hits some easy rockets on Nicole, and it looks like that's all she wrote for the bugs in this first round here. And they get the, round, the first round. I really want to see the bugs play a little more passive on this mid. They played super aggressive that last mid, but... Uh, they lost everybody doing it, so let's see what they choose to do once again. And if they do choose to do this aggression, they need to get make sure Cole gets out. So I'm going to be actually watching Digi, because last round he initiated the fight, and uh, I'm expecting it to happen. I don't really want it to happen, but I'm expecting Digi to be initiating the fight here on the second uh, round. He's up on this battlements area, just waiting to jump. Here he comes, doing a double high bomb, fi finds Kozen, hits one rocket, Hits two rocket. Kozen's actually good health. Goldfish is trying to follow off the damage, but the 20B is doing a great job keeping Kozen alive. Move finally takes Kozen down, but again, they lose everyone to take down Kozen. It really just is not worth it. They're going to lose mid and the second point, and Blank is already in the lunchbox of the Bugs team. Oh my gosh, Blank is really aggressive. He's going to be able to lock out Digi before before Digi can even spam the point, and Showstopper and Alec take that point with no damage done to them whatsoever. So, Ubers are even, but the bugs are on their heels once again. Let's see what we got here. There's no crazy mediguns. Moo is getting aggressive, and Alec just takes him down easy, easy peasy. Mousy also being a little aggressive. I don't think uh, 20B knows he's alone, but they're just gonna play off that one player pick and just dry push it here as Showstopper goes high flying in with Blank doing some serious damage to the bugs and they're just locking them out on the right side here. I don't know if they're going to be able to defend this. Newspeak and Moo are going to have to go nuts here, but yeah, that's not the case. I, I actually want to see how 20B is handling this aggression because last last round they, they manhandled them. They only lost Kozen on that last mid. Um, I'm going to be watching... Dewatna, and then I'm going to be switching to uh, the pocket and showstopper. See how they defend Kozen for so long. Dewatna is not doing too much damage. Mousy is up top. He hasn't gotten that health pack yet. He does hit a nice sticky on the Mu and to Mousy, and another one on the Goldfish, removing his buff. That's what we got here from showstopper. Showstopper's on the top left crate. He drops down, and it looks like he's going to be jumping the med. Here he comes. He does a lot of damage to the med and the scout next to him. He gets the double kill and one on the Mousy. Oh my god, Showstopper's going ham here. Is he going to get up to 4k? Sizer meat shots Newspeak out of the map before Showstopper can complete his 4k. So great mid coming from Showstopper. Uh, that was a good pick on player there. And Blank, once again, getting aggressive in that lunchbox area just to lock out any sort of spam onto the second point. And uh, 20B doing a good job just taking it to the bugs here, man. I thought this would be a little bit closer. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the bugs can have one uh, last hold with Moo on Sniper. Maybe that's the key. Uh, as we mentioned before, Moo is in that Sniper area where she's right in front of spawn. She can just despawn immediately if she misses a couple shots. So I'm going to get the cam on Moo as it looks like there might... Be a stalemate. I don't know. I think 20B is feeling a little, uh, feeling a little strong right now. They're probably going to be pushing out on this right side here as Showstopper is in deep. Digi gets blank from behind, and Digi is in a great position to do a ton of damage here. He just barely misses the air shot, but he does get the baby air shot right after that, and he takes out both soldiers by himself. The roamer taking down the pocket and the enemy roamer. Good stuff from Digi, and it looks like the bugs are going to be pushing on that as Goldfish takes down Dewatna. So good good stuff a pretty mediocre uber but are they going to be able to have a good chariot uber they got one frag uh onto digi and newspeak so that's two cole is caught out here cole is way too far ahead and there's just frags being tossed left and right there's two fights going on here and it looks like 20b is going to take the best of it so yeah it was a pretty poor uber coming from the bugs there 
after the the good play from Digi taking down both the soldiers, unfortunately, uh, Cole and Goldfish were only able to get Duwatna as uh, as Kozen and the 20B scouts just cycled around and put uh, put the bugs in a blender and had a nice bug smoothie. Is this the second half already? No, okay. So we're at the second half. And again, I really want to see the bugs play a little more passive on these mids. It seems like uh, 20B is just waiting for them to be aggressive and then killing them. <laughs> like, they're just jumping into a fire, essentially. And uh, that fire is 20B. And yeah, it's a quick half. It looks like they're just ready to ready to go. And uh, again, I'm going to be watching Dewatna. He did a lot of damage early on. He removed the pocket... The pockets buff and did a bunch of damage to Mousy and a scout. So let's see if he does the same. He's really low coming to the mid here, only 40 health. He gets the health pack, and again he correctly he correctly hits Mousy with two nice stickies. And Mousy is on in the red right now, early on in this mid. Showstopper is up top, and Digi and Goldfish again are going in deep, and it looks like this aggression is finally going to pay off for the bugs. Sizer is t fighting both scouts and takes down one. Newspeak is great health and Goldfish in great position as well. And Blank is left alone in the backfield. And it looks like that finally their aggression paid off. Both medics do go down, but yeah. I guess if you be aggressive uh four rounds in a row, you're you're gonna be you're gonna win one of them, I guess. Um but yeah, it, it worked out. It worked out. Um but yeah, we do have a little bit of a stalemate. They're, they didn't really roll 20B there. They gradually won the mid fight a after they got the first couple picks onto Kozen and the soldiers. Um, but Digi is looking to put some yard pressure as Showstopper is countering that pressure, taking down Digi and doing a little bit of damage to both scouts as he does get taken down. Uh, Goldfish is peeking into Lunchbox as uh, the 20B squad is distracted on the other side. And Goldfish jumps right through Z onto Kozen and takes him down. I just saw the tail end of that and Sizer is doing a ton of damage to Moo, but unable to turn the frag. Uh, Alec is... Sizer's backing up Alec. Alec might be able to get out here. If Alec gets out, it's good. Uh, I guess the bugs are just backing off. I can't believe Alec might be able to cap this here. I don't think it should turn a cap. And Digi is just hiding. I don't really know what happened there. I guess, I guess uh, Cole went down. I didn't really see that. And that's why they were able to cap that so easily. I thought Cole was alive. Um, but I think I'm here. Yeah, you're back. I've been solo casting. I'm a little, little bit lost here. There's so much action Woo! going on, and there's some. Uh, let me know when you're back. But there's a fight going on down right now. Showstopper once again getting aggressive onto Digi. He does go down without uh, fi finishing off Digi. And Sizer's getting in. Hits a three shot onto Mousy, and he's not done. He gets another frag onto Digi, and he's hunting down Newspeak. Actually, that's Alex just morphing a through a Sizer. I thought it was the same person. And Sizer and his medic in Kozen are pushing that choke point. So good pressure onto Mousy from Sizer. And I don't know if Cole and friends are in a good spot to use their Uber. They're getting kind of pinched here. They're going to have to use their Uber. They're taking so much damage from Dewatna, and here comes Blank. He jumps on to Mousy. He does so much damage. Cole is just milking so much, uh, and he finally pops. This is a little bit of a sloppy Uber. He's flashing everyone every which way, and Alec just two shots him after that Uber goes down, and Alec is on a 4K. Take 5K, excuse me. He takes down three players after the Ubers were exchanged, and Alec is looking to for the 6K. He's probably going to turn it. Great stuff from Alec. Just going oh. ham after that Uber fight, Mike. Are you here? I'm trying. I'm getting. I got. I need the server information. Everything blew up, Kurt. But it's sad. Uh, geez, it sounds like sounds like Alec is blowing stuff up in game. Yeah, and Digi is hiding up on this uh, pillar here, just spinning around. I don't know if that's an STV glitch. I think it is. Uh, and he's trying to get a good force. I can hear myself in your mic. Mike, your mic is suppressed right now. All right. This All right. Is good. good. All right. All right. I still can I still hear, hear myself, myself Mike. Mike. Alright, I don't think he has his headset on. This is kind of awkward. I don't know if I should talk or not. Alright, he's... It's not happening anymore. Cool. Alright, so it does look like a little bit of a stalemate. The 20B does have Uber advantage. Oh, Digi hits a nice rocket under Showstopper before the Ubers pop. This is exactly what they need if they want to defend last. Moo does take down the other soldier in blank. And this is a pretty rough Uber 
coming from the 20B squad. They have, uh, they do have Uber advantage here, and Cole is looking to get a fat Uber, but Dewatna's like, no, no, I'm gonna take someone down first. And Goldfish and uh, Cole are looking to push Dewatna in that, in that lunchbox area. I guess not, as Dewatna takes down Digi. They actually point out, Dewatna is all by himself. If only they knew. Moo is, Moo knows, and Moo gets caught up. Oh my God. Dewatna just holding down that left side completely by himself, turning three frags. But at the only benefit of that is the bugs have not used Uber yet. But Mousy might go down. Cole saves his life. But this is again another rough Uber from Goldfish and Lucky Cole. Blank just forcing that Uber uh, out of Cole because Cole wanted to save save Mousy. Mousy was about to go down there, and Cozen approaching Uber here. Uh, and it looks like they're going to be pushing in. Showstopper's been playing so aggressive this game, I imagine it's not going to stop. Here he comes, he gets flashed from his medic, and he's going in with his scout in Sizer. And Sizer's hitting the meat onto Mousy. can he finish him off? He do Mousy does get arrowed, as uh, his team is actually getting in a much better position. Goldfish does a ton of damage in that opening on that left side, but no one goes down, no one is dying on this 20B squad. They're just slowly pushing their way in, and Blank gets a nice air shot onto Newspeak. Oh my god, and it's such a slow, methodical death for the bugs on this fourth round. And, uh, man, these Ubers are a little rough uh, from the bugs, but I think it has a lot to do with the pressure coming from the 20B squad. Every which way uh, they, they turn, they're just running into damage. And this might be the last round of this game here, Mike. Are you here? All right, I don't, right, think, your I don't think your mic is, mic is working, working now. I can hear myself, but I don't think your mic is working. Uh, all right. Hello. Hello, are you here? Am I fixed? Yes. Boy, oh boy. This is your tryout, Kurt, for, um, you know, the I-15 solo I had a lot of fun, cast. but this is the mid-fight here. Both soldiers are jumping Show. on Kozen. This oh. is the test. Can they keep Cole alive? They got Kozen down, but they can't. Showstopper counter-jumped onto Cole, and Cole was left by himself. And the mid is just a DM war from here, and I think the 20B squad is going to be winning this DM war with four people alive against Newspeak, speak, trying to make as they happen, do. Yeah. Boy, Kurt, I want to thank you. Where do I send the gift for, um, you know... Keeping I... the cast going. Let's give some love for uh, Kurt. But anyway, meanwhile, both medics did go down there. Uh, I caught Cole going down on the side of the bugs. But uh, look at this. I mean, it's just red coming forward as, again, you see how important these middles are. And uh, here's Sho and here's Duana coming on through. And by the sound of it, and I'm looking at the stat line, Blank has been unreal as well. So, I mean, 20B just steamroller, Kurt. Yeah, they've been very much steamrolling at pretty much every asset of the game. Uh, they've been dominating, and it looks like they're looking to finish the game right here. And Goldfish is doing a ton of damage in Z, but Digi Oof. does get taken down in the lunchbox area as both of the 20B soldiers pressure that area. But on the other side, it looks like Goldfish might go down. He's in a sliver of health. Can Cole save his life? He does save his life. Uh. Sizer's in deep as well as Showstopper. Everybody's oh. in deep on this 20B squad. <laughs> They're capping that point furiously, Show. and they just muscle their way on to the point with a bunch of frags, and they still haven't even this. popped Uber. This looks like it's over for the bugs. Can they have a fat Uber? It doesn't look like it. They lose everybody. It's just Goldfish, Cole, and Newspeak alive here as the 20B squad is looking to cap the last point with relative ease. They're actually turning Oof. the frags before they cap the point, which is very smart, and they did a great job. Holy crap, 20B wow. looking unbelievably strong this game don't want to um, uh, don't want to like you know dwell on what just happened but unbelievable when digi went down so digi was watching uh, in that upper lunchbox area and 20b just sent both their soldiers in to pinch them and they both lived showstopper and blank just like did it like it was nothing they just pinched the soldier took them down rest of the team stayed up uh, crazy unbelievable yeah, they, just they snuck through lunchbox before yeah. uh uh, anyone on the bugs knew and by the time they knew Digi was dead and uh, after that they pressured out uh, Goldfish who was spamming in Z and took him down as well and from there on it was 4v 4v6 uh, pushing that last point with Uber v Uber and they turned the round once again but yeah, yeah well 20v kind of... just looking great 
I want to watch, look at these stats. Uh, yeah, so like every at. player I was watching on 20B was just like going nuts. Who was going the most nuts? Is well, that, that's the seems question. Seems like Sizer had a hell of a game. Uh, everyone, we got some Paul is crazies in chat. He had a 357 DPM. And look at the frags, Alec and Sizer. Between them, 48 frags. 48. That is Between an two unbelievably them. high amount of frags in a 5 more than the Bugs game. had. The Bugs had 46, dude. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Just come on. The the aggression and like the, like the counter aggression from Street Hoops. The Bugs were playing very aggressive on every single mid, but it seemed like Street Hoops were just playing very like counter aggressive, just playing off of the Bugs' aggression, and just using it against them, and then be after they won pretty much every mid, uh, except for one. They they just turn on this. They turn on the bulldozer and just push their way through to the last point every single time. Absolutely. So, I mean, that's, you know, we can't call it that close of a game. You know, sometimes Saloon is right, sometimes it's wrong, but tonight it was pretty much right. The Bugs, I mean, certainly put up an okay fight. I mean, there were some good performances. I, you know, Goldfish was doing some great stuff. Um, I mean, all around on the Bugs, but just as you said, kind of a case of just being outclassed. And especially with this Street Hoops team, you've got to think that part of it is they want to muscle their way into the top four so that they can get into playoffs. I mean, they improve now. They're at 500. They're 5-5. Five and five, And uh, they're, they're they're knocking. They're knocking yeah. on the door. And next, uh, I believe it's tomorrow's game is, I think uh, the correct word is tomorrow's game is going to be a banger between <laughs> Street Hoops and EVL. Uh, at the beginning of the season, uh, EVL's EVL's victory over Street Hoops kind of put them in the spotlight. Is like, is this team for real? And it turns out they won that game uh, against Street Hoops. Uh, when was that? Let me see. It was actually the second game of the season. They won three to four against Street Hoops on Snake Water, and uh, that kind of put EVL on the spotlight. And they just they've been playing so great. But Street Hoops is definitely bouncing back after their incredibly rough uh, start of the season. And uh, they're looking really strong with this 5-over victory over uh, over the Bugs, especially on a map yeah. like Granary that can be very swingy if, uh, if you're not playing it correctly. Yeah, absolutely. Well, as of this second, if playoffs started today, Kurt, they would actually occupy that number four spot. They're at five and five. Bird noises are right behind at five and six. Running with scissors at four and six as well. And so it really is still... It's starting to shape up, I guess, like kind of a three-way race and kind of horse race for that last spot in the, uh, the standings here. But like you said, I mean, it's going to – a lot can happen between now and then because, as you said, you know, there are a lot of games to go. Bird noises, running with scissors, and street hoops kind of in the mix. Uh, but, you know, we can't predict it. It's been a fantastic season so far, and I feel like the stretch run uh, will be even better. And we'll have to get some more information on this uh, – the acquisition, I guess, of Big Blank. Is it going yeah. to be Blank himself? Is it going to be Ash? I like either one, though, I, honestly. I, Blank just plays so smart. Like, yeah. he's always in a good position to do a lot of damage without going like having to hit crazy shots. And when he does need to hit those crazy shots, he usually does. So he's a very, very smart, uh, talented gamer. And I, I don't – like, Ash and Blank, you can't go wrong with either of them. So we'll, we'll see what happens Uh uh, for the tomorrow, actually, we'll see what happens yeah. tomorrow when they play EVL. That that might be the game of the season for Street Hoops. If they win that game, they are probably going to be able to lock themselves uh, that fourth spot in uh, in playoffs. So it's a big game yeah. for Street Hoops because uh, they got a mountain. They don't have a mountain to climb, but they they're they're on a slippery slope if they lose that game tomorrow. I'd say. Yeah, it's easy to slide. Uh, you know, the bugs themselves are in a bit of a slide. They'll look to improve. They're done with Granary Pro now. Thank God. Am I right? They'll move on to Metalworks uh, coming up next within the, the next few days and whatnot. And certainly we will keep bringing you this uh, coverage, as Kurt alluded to. Um, you know, there are some other matches this week coming up, and so you're going to want to go to teamfortress.tv to check it out and stay here with us on the Twitch and watch this. And if you're not a Twitch person, you can always watch it after the fact on YouTube, but that's not as fun because then you don't get to, you know, throw emotes in the chat and, you know, talk trash on people that are better than you, right? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> we all love doing that. Well, listen, uh, any other thoughts? Uh, are we going to let these nice people um, go uh, and uh, play pickups? It was a fun cast, even though it was mostly by myself. It was very, <laughs> like, uh, it was like a uh, caffeine boost. It kind of felt like that. It was very, yeah. I was, like, kind of put on the spotlight, and I, 
I felt good, you know? Yeah. I felt a little well, nervous at first, but like, you got to do what you got to do. I think I did an all right job. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but give some tomorrow, give some love, guys. Give tomorrow, some... fix your internet so it doesn't happen again. <laughs> I will. Shout outs to <laughs> the internet. But guys, give some big hearts and love to Kurt. How about Kurt and doing by it so long? Carrying beyond that, like. Thanks to Marbler for holding it down because yeah. my game actually crashed after the first <laughs> round. And I'm sure he did an excellent job doing the silent cast with just the pristine camera work uh, uh, while while that was happening. And and obviously just for being here uh, streaming the match so we all could watch it and yeah. uh, have a good time. Yeah, let's give love for it. Truck Truck and uh, Marbler. My name is Get a Whale. We will be back with you tomorrow for some more ESEA invite action. Check out the Twitter, the YouTube. But that's it. We're going to go. Much love and good night.